So, Achille, uh, in 2021, you went to Tokyo Olympics with the Italian team, uh, which is a dream for many players. And what kind of feeling is to represent your country at this high level? Uh, for us, it was an amazing experience, and uh, I mean, we, we were like a new team because many players was uh, like the first experience as a, a pro with national team. So I think we we were uh, we had a lot of energy, and we were uh, doing a great job also to qualify round with, against Serbia uh, in Belgrade. So I think we deserve to qualify for uh, Tokyo, and uh, it was an amazing uh, and unforgettable experience for us. I guess one of the most uh, memorable moments in your career was the assist to Luca Vildoza in 2020 yeah, uh, against Barcelona, which let you win Spanish championship. Would you agree with that or do you have any other memories? I mean, it was a, was a great uh, memory also this one uh, because it was my fourth final uh, to win the title of a championship. And uh, the first three, I lost it. So this was like uh, <laughs> very important for me because you know you you win the first championship after three lost and uh, was a really great memories. And uh, in that uh, in that time out that uh, Ivanovic called uh, the last last seconds, I was I wasn't uh, to, supposed to be in the court because uh, Matt Jenning uh, need to sum me. But the referee said, no, 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 it's not possible to do this up. So I stayed on the court and uh, I mean, fortunately, it was a was good uh, moment. Throughout your career, you met a few Lithuanians. Now you play with many of them in the same team. Uh, how would you describe Lithuanians as people for who, what you saw already? I think uh, I was lucky because uh, I met a lot of Lithuanian and I was lucky because they were uh, Great teammates uh, from uh, Kaukenas to Lavrinovic to Gedraitis to Sedekeskis and uh, yeah, I played with them a uh, few years and um, I mean, what I understood that uh, for uh, for you Lithuanian guys, uh, basketball is like a religion, so it's very important and uh, you fight you fight on the court and uh, you give one hundred percent on the court. Uh, after Italy, Spain and Turkey, Lithuania far up north compared to these countries. Uh, how hard was it to you to, you to adapt to, to this whole city, climate, culture and people and so on? I mean, I, I like Kaunas. Uh, also, if everybody said that it's very cold, I like also the cold. And I hope that uh, will be snow again. And uh, I mean, it's a good city, and uh, it's good. Uh, it's good also live here because uh, you feel the atmosphere. You feel like uh, um, that uh, for you, for the fans, uh, it's very important basketball and it's important uh, Zalgiris. So I'm glad to be here, and uh, nothing. I hope that uh, we are. Uh, we will have like. Uh, a successful, uh, successful uh, season. <laughs> uh, what is the biggest basketball dream that you still want to fulfill in your career? I mean, um, to win maybe some medal with the national team, of course, and to to reach uh, one time the playoff in Euroleague because I never reach it. So I will be I will be very happy if uh, I can reach one of those uh, those uh, goal. Uh, what do you think about this season? Is it possible? Yeah, I think it's possible. We we miss a lot of games, so we have the chance to be in the top eight, and uh, it's up to us. But uh, we we saw that in this Euroleague, uh, every every games uh, are very important, and uh, there are some surprises. So it, it will depend uh, from us, but uh, <laughs> it will be uh, it, it will be very tough. Uh, you made a lot of impressive dunks, even uh, one dunk contest. Yeah. Uh, what is your favorite dunk that you made in your whole career? I don't have like uh, the favorite one. Uh, maybe the favorite one is uh, like a um, uh, putback, like uh, after offensive rebound, uh, like a tap in, and uh, this one uh, gives you a lot of energy. Uh, stereotypically, people see Italians as very emotional people. Uh, and the best example is your national team coach. Uh, he's crazy around the, the court and uh, is known for close contact with his players. Yeah, we saw how this emotion can lead Italy to victories against Starfield teams like Serbia, 
uh, how does it feel to play for such an emotional coach and do Italian players match the energy of the coach? Yeah, I played with him um, for him also when I was in Sassari, so in Italy, and uh, I knew him very well and uh, we had uh, we have a lot a nice uh, relationship, so it's like my old brother for me, so um, I mean, uh, it, it's very, it's, it's good for us. It's like it's good feeling for us to have him uh, in national team because uh, it give it to us a lot of energy and uh, a lot of confidence, especially. So it means that uh, we we go on the court to play without uh, mental problem. You know, we play free and uh, we play together. So we we give 100 percent. Of course, we miss a lot of things like everybody, but. Uh, we play like uh, very with uh, with freedom and uh, with a lot of confidence. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. And the Thank you. Let's <laughs> pause, like, subscribe, and don't forget to comment.